I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge in Google Documents or Slides. So there's two tools you're going to need. You'll first need a document template, so something that you've already created that you want data to merge into. So here's a real basic example. I just want a hey there and I want the person's name to come in and I have a couple pieces of data down here and I also will be assigning them a group. So I just basically put some places in. This is the document I want all of the data that I am recording to go into. So you have a document. This can also be done in Google Slides, but you also need to have a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet's what's going to pull the data from. That's where it's all going to come from. So here's the most important thing. You have to have both a spreadsheet and a document or a slide. And these headers across the top have to match exactly what you're going to put into your document. For example, I want the person's name to appear here. So what I have to do is put these two little brackets and then the heading of that column for my spreadsheet with two close brackets. So if I went to my spreadsheet, you would see I have the word name. That's my first header. And that's going to import all of the students' names. In my document, I just have to put bracket, bracket, the header, bracket, bracket. So here's another example. I have data one. So if I went into my spreadsheet, that's going to pull the information down here. So Billy Bob for data one has a 23, for data two has a 52. When I run the merge, those numbers, that data is going to go right into here, into this area. So the most important thing is your spreadsheet headers have to match exactly what's inside your brackets within your template. So once you've created your template and you've put the bracket bracket, put the name of what you want, you're ready to go. So you've got both of these things going. You go back to your spreadsheet. Now if you've used Microsoft Office, you always worked from the document and then you would select a spreadsheet to pull the data from. The difference with Google is we work out of the spreadsheet. So I have to go to the spreadsheet that I have all of my data in and I have to use the add-ons feature. So the first time you do this, you're going to go right up here towards the top where it says add-ons. You'll click, and you may not have as many as me, but down at the bottom, you need to click on the Get Add-ons button. Once that loads, you will search for Autocrat. and it'll be this one right here. And the icon has changed recently. It used to be a gray kind of computer little guy, but now it's this yellow box. So you'll just click it and install. Now mine's already installed, so I don't have to worry about doing it, but you'll have a big install button. So once you have it installed, you'll be all set. Go back to your spreadsheet, click the add-ons button, go down to where you'll find Autocrat, and the very first time you do it, I believe this says launch. Now I've already run it on the spreadsheet before, so mine says open, but yours will say launch. So I'll click the launch or the open button. So you won't have anything here. You go down to the red button down here, it says new job. Click on new job. And these are the steps that you'll have to go through to create a new merge job. So you can name this anything. I'm just gonna name this merge demo one. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. That's just the title so you know what kind of a merge you're running. And you'll have to do this on every single spreadsheet you do. Every time you load Autocrat, you'll get to create a new merge job. Once you have the job done, you can go back to that spreadsheet and use the same job over and over again. You just need to create it. So I'll go to the next button. And this is asking me, okay, so I have your spreadsheet. Where do you want me to push all of the data from your spreadsheet what document or slide do you want me to push that to? So I have one called Autocrat Demo. Basically, if you've never used this before, you'll go to the My Drive. You'll search wherever you have that template that we made. Remember this template that we made in that document. You just need to find it. Now mine, I recently used, so it makes it really easy. I can just say, yep, that's the one I want. I want to use it. So once you've found the template you want, you hit the Next button. And this is where it says, okay, in the spreadsheet we're in, which tab, and those are the tabs down here at the bottom, do you want to use? Well, my tab is tab one, the one I want to use. So I click that little box, choose sheet one. 
Then it's going to ask, what row are your headers in? And my headers are in right over here, row one, so that's good. And my first piece of data starts on row two. You can choose what your headers are and which row you start on, but generally when you make these, I tend to just put the headers at the top, first piece of data underneath, and I'm only using the spreadsheet to pull the data from. But you might have one that maybe your header's on row 18 and your data starts on row 19. So mine's perfectly fine how it is. Then you just need to double check that your headers match what you made in the brackets. So like I have name maps to this column name. The data one, data one. This is 99.9% .9 of the time perfectly fine. The only time there might be an issue is if maybe you put a space somewhere or you did something slightly different. So because I made sure that the headers matched exactly what I wanted pulled in here, the name of them here, I'm not gonna have any problems. Click the next button. Now I need to name this file. So when it gets merged, it's gonna make either a brand new document or a PDF. What do I want that name so when I find it in my job? I'm just gonna call this merged one. Now, here's where you get to make some decisions and it will also affect the naming process. I want all of my files to come in as a Google document because maybe I wanna tweak something in them a little bit later. Your other option is also a PDF, and that's a great way if you want to give parents a report or kids a report on something, you can do it as a PDF, send it to them, and you're done. Nothing to worry about. If you might want to edit it or kind of look at it or use it in a document format, you would choose a Google Doc. So it doesn't matter which one you use. It, mine all depends on what I'm doing with it. If I'm just going to give someone a copy of something, I always choose PDF. But if there's a chance I might want to tweak it or maybe put something in it or make a comment somewhere, I'll just do a document. But here's where you make the decision of how do I want these printed or saved to my drive? I have the choice of multiple outputs. So in my spreadsheet over here on the left-hand side, you can see I have four kids that are going to get a document. If I use this multiple output mode, I'm going to get a separate document for Billy Bob, a separate document for Sally, one for Joey, and one for Marky. That's what I want because I don't want Billy to see the other students' scores. If I choose single output, it puts them all into one document. Now, that's great for printing because then I get one document, I click print, and I can do a hard copy. But if I want people to have a copy of it for my drive, I would always choose multiple. If you choose multiple, you will want to change the file name. And the reason is, what I'm gonna have is four files called merge one. I'm not gonna know whose file it is. Wouldn't it be great if I could put the kid's name in the name of the file that shows up my drive? Well, you can. This blue bar right here shows you all the merged files that you have listed in your spreadsheet. So one of them happens to be name. Remember this one right here, it says name, has their name. So if I go into my file name and I do bracket, bracket, name, I'm gonna get Billy Bob merged one, Sally Sue merged one, Joey Johnson merged one, all those individual files in my, job, in my drive. So if I want individual files, always choose multiple output. If you're gonna just print something or you just wanna collect the data, have it in a document, then you would choose single. And if I choose single, I just take the name part back out. And if you choose single, you can have it so that every single kid's data is on a separate document. So that would be the page break. So generally, if you're printing something, this is the look that you want. Whether it's a document or a PDF, it doesn't matter. You want single output with page breaks. If you're sending it to kids individually, you want multiple output and you wanna put their name in the top. So those are the two ways you're gonna do it. And for ease today, I'm just going to do single output with page breaks. So once you made your decision, you've named it, you click next. Now I need to choose where do I wanna put this? The biggest thing I can tell you is keep your drive organized. Whatever folder you have these two files in, the template that you have and the spreadsheet, 
put your merged files in. That makes it a lot easier. So I'll just say choose folder. And I made a folder called Demo Autocrat, so I already know the name of the folder. I'm going to select that. I've chosen where my files are going to go. You can click the next button. Dynamic folder, don't even worry about this. We're just doing the basics here. Merge condition, you don't need that. And share and send emails, you don't need that. And basically triggers, you don't. What's cool about triggers, and I'm only going to say this because this is something you may want to consider in the future. If you're using a Google form and kiddos or somebody submits a form, you can set Autocrat to automatically send them an email with their document once that um, that form is submitted. So it's a really cool way to do that. But we're not going to talk about that right now. So um, just hit the Save button. And then what we've done is we've made our job. So I've made this job, and it's called Merge Demo 1. So I could go back out if I want, go back to my spreadsheet, enter in my data, tweak it what I want, and I'm ready to merge these documents. So I'll go back up to Add-ons. I'll go down to Autocrat, go over to Open. And if you followed all those steps in your own, you only have one job. I have two only because I had one pre-existing. I'm going to go to that Merge Demo 1, and now all I have to do is hit this Play button right here in the middle. So when I hit Play, it's going to start running. And it will show you its progress. And when it says four rows will be merged, and then it's going to say finishing up, and now it's going to say it's done, when I close this out, you're going to see on my spreadsheet now, these columns just got imported with data. And what that means is it's showing you a link to that document and showing you that it's done. So if I were to go over here, and because I chose single output, you see how all of these are the same name? That's because I made one document for everybody's. If you would have done the multiple output, each one of these would have the kid's name and the name of the file. So they'd have their own individuals. So it's a great way to do things to share it individually, but I was just doing it for ease today. When I click that link and I can open it, here's what I've made. All right, so here's my document, and you can see it's put the kiddos' names in it, the data that I wanted, and the group that I assigned them. And because, once again, I did single output, if I scroll down, there's student one. I'd made a page break. Oops. There's student two. There's student three. And there's student four. So like I was saying earlier, though, if you would have done multiple output, you would then have four separate documents, each kid having their own, which then you could share to them individually. But for me, I was going to just... You know, imagine I was going to print this out. I wouldn't want to do multiple because then I have to print all four pages individually. This way I can just hit print one time. So super easy. Um, once you have it set up and once you do this a couple times, it really, really is pretty simple. There is a little piece of advice that I'm going to give you, though. When you're done running a merge, Google likes to put all of this back in the same folder like when we ran that merge and it goes into that folder. The problem is if I have all those folders named the same, which is what I would probably do, I now have this merge one in here. And if I run it again, I already have a merge one in there. And Google kind of freaks out sometimes. So you can see I have this merged one. If I were to run it again, Google doesn't necessarily know what to do with that. So when you're done with this file and you've printed it and you're really done with it, what I would recommend doing is I delete them out of my drive, get it out, so now it's gone. Also, make sure that you go back to your spreadsheet. And I know this sounds strange, but you need to take all of the data that it created, and I just click on this G and I just drag over, and I hit the delete button. I remove all those links. When I run Autocrat sometimes and it already has that information in, those reports don't get generated for some reason. So every time I run this, every time I run Autocrat, I just delete those columns, just delete the data in them, and I could go right back in, hit Autocrat, open it back up, hit play, and I can run it again. So it really is, once you have the job set up, it's as simple as going back, hitting the play button, closing out Autocrat, and you're ready to rock and roll. I can go back to my folder again, 
and you're gonna have that merged one in there again. Now the reason it's there again is because I deleted the first one. Now if you went in and you can edit your last run autocrat, I could go in here and rename that file by clicking the edit button and going next a couple of times until I get back to the name and I could name it something different. So for example, merged all and now I want to change this back to multiple. So I'll just show you what happens when I do a multiple one and I'm going to put their name. I'm going to save it. Now because I'm running Autocrat again, remember every time you run Autocrat you need to delete these columns out. So I'm just going to highlight this, hit delete, go back, hit add-ons, Autocrat, open. Now I can go ahead and hit run. I can close that out. And now you will see the names of those files because now they're individual because I did multiple. Each kiddo gets their own. You can see the file name. So the easy way now is I could just click Billy Bob's, open it up, and there's his data. Or I could go back to my drive and then you will see there's Joey's, Marky's, Sally's, and Billy's. But remember, if I were to run it again, I would want to delete all of those files out of my drive and delete those columns out. There you go. Play around. You'll figure it out. It really isn't as hard as, it make, as I made it look or as it sounds.